A fire that destroyed solar panels at an Amazon warehouse in Fresno turned out to be the first of several for the company across the country. So many, Amazon decided to reinspect every single installation. The panels are now back online, but if this happened to the mega cyber retailer, how safe are the installations on average homes? Fox 26 reporter Liz Gonzalez asked experts who carry out safety testing and inspections on the panels and explains how Amazon wasn't the only retailer to experience this issue with its solar power systems. Things are up and running at this Amazon Fulfillment Center in South Fresno, not just inside as workers fill orders, but on the roof as a solar installation and others across the country are online once again. Amazon shut down all of them for a safety review. And this is what set things off. April 14th, 2020, flames shot out from the solar system on the warehouse's rooftop. An incident report obtained by Fox 26 News shows the initial call to Fresno firefighters was 20 solar panels on fire. But Fresno City and County firefighters weren't able to attack those flames right away. Solar panels are unique because you can't just shut them off like a light switch and they go off. It takes them time to uh, de-energize. The wait, five minutes. Crucial when every second counts. The crews were able to extinguish those flames quickly. The damage, 220 solar panels, equipment and roofing materials. The cause, according to the investigation report, an undetermined electrical event within the solar system. Amazon went on to have at least five more similar events over the next 14 months. And it wasn't alone. A lawsuit filed by Walmart, which has since been settled, blamed no fewer than seven fires on Tesla solar systems. This fire in India was among the biggest, with a damage estimated at $1 million. As bad as it is to have situations like these with um, large incidents, it does end up having positive benefits in the future because these often end up in improved uh, quality standards or installation practice standards. Crystalline is with Enrol, the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, which researches and carries out testing on panels. We were doing a survey of uh, modules in the field and we found less than 0.05% had module defects or needed warranty claims on them. Solar panels, when they're operating correctly, can be really safe on your rooftop. DeLine says panels aren't usually the problem. In a lot of cases, root causes have turned up either um, incorrect crimping or methods of, of doing the installation, or perhaps trying to save a little bit on cost and using uh, incompatible um, connectors. So in some cases, you know, it can be traced down to wrong choice of parts or um, frankly, sloppy workmanship. And that's where an independent home inspector can make the difference. If you have the inspector come early in the installation, the contractor is going to be um, on his toes and doing his best work, knowing that you've taken the time and money and energy to hire a third party inspector to look over his shoulder. Nick Romico is the founder of the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. The association's members complete about 55 million inspections a year. The quality control on a solar panel is very good. It comes out of a factory, but the installation doesn't come out of a factory. The installation is, um, can be different from house to house. He says a third-party inspection can run anywhere from about $150 to $200. You could be eating dinner and not know that you've lost your entire roof until a neighbor comes over and tells you. Um, so there is some risk to having these systems on top of roofs, and uh, you should do what you can to mitigate those risks, especially since the cost to mitigate those risks are very small. DeLine says you can limit that risk by really doing your research. You get a number of different quotes um, when you're trying to get a, a solar installation um, picked out. Um, finding a local installer that can stand by their business that's been around for a while also helps a lot. In a statement, an Amazon spokesperson said the cyber giant has since built a quote, team of dedicated solar experts to oversee the construction operations and maintenance of our systems in-house to ensure the safety of our systems. It continues to work toward its goal to power its operations with 100% renewable energy by 2025. So far, it's at 85%. Liz Gonzalez, Fox 26 News.
A whistleblower who previously worked at Tesla accused the company of intentionally failing to disclose fire risks caused by defective connectors. He filed a wrongful termination lawsuit accusing Tesla of ignoring and later firing him after he raised safety concerns about roof racking components that Tesla was installing. He took his accusations to the feds. In December, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission confirmed to a number of news outlets it is investigating Tesla over solar power system defects. We reached out to Tesla for comment, but did not hear back.